Welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about recycler views and recycler adapters. All right, so kind of this, this little bit nicer look and feel here, uh, and really some, some, nice, some nice other changes. So what kind of um, improvements do we have if you were going to compare a recycler view to a, to a list view? Um, and really th three big things that I've seen. So, so first of all, they are super flexible, right? So there's really, really easy ways um, to get different layout managers, whether you want things in a nice linear layout or whether you want sort of a grid layout or they have another one called staggered grid layout. Um, super flexible. Right. Second thing is that they're efficient. And this is probably the, the biggest, uh, biggest enhancement that, that people talk about. Um, we're trying to minimize the, the, the use of find view by ID as, as much as possible, right? So we want to be able to, to capture these guys once um, and then sort of bind new data to those, uh, to our views um, frequently. And I've heard results of, of, you know, in general, things being like 15% faster. Uh, it's kind of interesting, sort of in the in-between stage, even when people were using list views, uh, that there was, uh, to try to overcome this, people were making these little view holder objects uh, that would sort of live inside their view um, and they would capture them and they, they would even do things like once they got a view, they would, uh, they would store it inside an object's tag and then pull it out later. Um, view holder um, that we're going to have inside recycler view, it takes care of a lot of that for us, much, much cleaner, I, I think, than, than what was going on before. Uh, third thing, one that I really enjoy here, is that um, if you're doing um, sort of what we call the, the CRUD methods, right? So create, um, read, um, update, or delete on lists, and, and particularly um, creating, so adding new ones and deleting, um, there are some nice animations that we have here. So instead of just having the sort of standard notify data set changed, um, they have methods to notify that a specific item at a specific position um, had been inserted or, or removed. And then we get some, some really nice um, really nice animations uh, that, that are just going to expand um, from, in a way, that specific position. <clears throat> Uh, I will say that the only negative that I've seen so far is that I, I haven't seen any built-in support for multi-select. So maybe you've seen apps where you can where you can long press on multiple items, and uh, it'll highlight each one of them, and then maybe even the the options menu at the top, the app bar changes, and it gives you some new new options. Um, that's something that I used to do. Uh, things that are related to action modes uh, back before I used Recycler Views. Um, there's, there's some neat things there. Um, I've seen third-party library support, and clearly Google knows what they're doing in their own apps, uh, but they haven't yet made that part of the standard library, uh, to my knowledge. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our, um, the app that, that, we've, that we've been creating, um, so this name one, and we're going to repurpose it uh, for, for Recycler View. Um, so I'm going to suggest that we use the name base adapter code as a starting point. And Really up to you whether you want to make a new project or whether you want to try to try to just copy and paste what you have. Um, I successfully got away with with copy and paste, um, and, and I say copy and paste rather than just add on because I really want both of them as as a reference, both the sort of how to use base adapters and how to use recycler adapters. Um, we're going to follow that same process in the lab. Uh, you'll be getting checkoffs on two parts of the project, um, one for for base adapter and then one for recycler adapter. So what I'm going to suggest that you do is you stop right now and you go ahead and copy and paste your whole project folder, um, and then just rename the copy to you know to name recycler adapter. Um, what you'll then have to do is is to refactor the the package name. If you want to have them both installed on a device, they have to have unique package names. Uh, so you want to re, uh, rename the package uh, actually in in the code and then in the manifest and in build.gradle because they, they show up in, a, in all three places. All right, so yeah, go ahead and, and copy that now. All right, so I made a copy of my, my uh, name base adapter here. I'm calling this uh, recycler adapter here. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna open it. So back from, uh, from here, I will close my project. And then I will open an existing one, and I'll navigate to the place that I put that. So let's see, we can do the same. So name recycler adapter, um, and it's still somehow remembering that some of this is associated with the, the, the old name, uh, but we can we can change at least some of it. 
So first thing is in our Java code, um, you'll notice that we have name base adapter here. Um, you can do a, a refactor rename um, on that guy, Alt Shift R, and it'll ask you about some warnings and everything, um, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and it says right here, multiple directories correspond to this package. So it also generated a whole bunch of things. And it says, do you want to rename the whole package or just this directory only? So we're going to do the whole package um, and name recycler. Let's see, it looks like I get that right. Um, and I'll do a refactor. And it really wants to give me a preview here, but I'm, I'm happy with what it does. Uh, so refactor that guy. Like we said in the manifest, um, actually that was pretty smart. So it looks like it, it, it got this guy here in the manifest. Um, and then within any, any uh, things within that package there, let's see how it did with the Gradle script. Um, nope, not, not so well over here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this guy. So a uh, new recycler adapter and I'll resync the project, uh, no big deal. All right, so now I have a, a new project that I can feel free to modify. Of course, it has all the old stuff from the base adapter, but let's uh, let's take it from there. Uh, so, what does a recycler adapter look like? Uh, so, that really the, the the main thing that you need to to realize here is that the functionality from your uh, the functionality from your get view has been split up into three parts. So, one first thing that had to happen was was uh, you know we inflated a view if needed. And there's one here, there's a method that replaces that called onCreateViewHolder. Right? And onCreateViewHolder is, re is responsible for returning what's called a ViewHolder. So a ViewHolder is a new class within here that's an inner class within the adapter. Um, and it's, you know, it, when, we, when we create the ViewHolder, basically we say, go ahead and make a view. And this code right here is gonna look really familiar because it's very similar to what we did uh, inside GetView in the base adapter. Um, and so we get a view, and then we're going to return a new view holder where that's passed in. So the second step is, uh, you know, once I have this view, I construct a view holder from it, and I can see that going on right here. Uh, so view holder, what am I going to do? Well, one major thing: view holders are responsible for holding on to um, all of the little child views um, within within the, the the row. Okay. So in this case, it was the name and the position text views. Um, so, that, so I'm going to go ahead and capture those guys and they're going to live as part of the view holder. Then the third thing is that whenever I need to, um, whenever I need to change the data, so this is called binding the view here, so I'm actually populating it with data from my model, uh, then it's going to pass me in a, 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 a view holder to, to be updated in a position. And I'm going to do the kind of things that, that I did before, which are going to be to, um, to just set the, set the text right, from um, so from my model object uh, onto uh, the holders uh, text views that it has here. Right. Very very nice pattern. Uh, works it works out pretty well. So let's let's think about this. We're we're if we were starting um, fresh, then I might hold this up and say here's a here's a decent example of doing some of the basic things. Um, we're cutting our stuff over from an existing base adapter. So we'll just mention some of the changes um, that that we're going to have to make right now. Um, so one is that it, clearly we no longer extend base adapter, but we extend um, this recycler adapter class. Um, it's parameterized on the type of the view holder. So this is going to, um, as our parameter, we're going to pass in the, our inner class here. So name adapters view holder. Uh, and that's, you know, that's going to ask us to stub in the required methods. So we'll be able to do that. No big deal. Uh, we will have to create the view holder class here. Um, that again, it also is going to extend uh, sort of a, a, an inner class from the recycler adapter. And then we'll actually do the work of splitting up the get view into the three parts that we talked about uh, just a minute ago. So let's, let's dig in and do it. All right, uh, so going back into my name adapter, um, no longer do we extend base adapter, but we are gonna extend uh, recycler view dot adapter. And again, that uh, has a parameter which is a view holder. Uh, so this is an inner class. So we're going to call this guy uh, name adapter. Whoops, not like that. I'm going to call it name adapter dot. And I don't, I haven't made it yet. So uh, I'll say dot view holder, just like that. And of course, it's not going to like that at all. So let's go ahead and um, create this class view holder. Um, this guy is going to extend. Uh, so it extends recycler view dot 
view holder also. Okay. And let's see, uh, it says something about it, it wants a, a default constructor. So let's go ahead and make that so public view holder. Um, let's see, it's a new. Uh, that is going to take a view. Like so. All right. Um, let's see. Name it after. So that means we're we're going to need to uh, to make some more changes here. So let's let's go ahead and implement the methods. So to be a recycler um, view adapter, you have to have these three methods. So we'll go ahead and we'll stub them in. Uh, and it's interesting, it tried to organize my code for me. Uh, I'm never thrilled with how it does it here because um, some of the things I, 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 need to, I need to change. So it turns out that one of the ones that it subbed in was get item count and it put it as, as, as zero. Um, now it turns out the get item count is exactly the same function that get count returned before. So I don't care how you do it, but what I found is really easy to do is just change get count to get item count and blow away the new one that it tried to stub in there. Okay. Um, so I, I think that's 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 pretty decent. Uh, okay. Um, get item, it turns out, is no longer needed. Right? So get item goes away. Get item ID that we used to have from our base adapter goes away as well. Right? So that's so uh, pretty good. Um, all right, what do we got to do? We got some, we've got some errors here, so let's see what else it, it, it complains about. Um, so, so get view is, uh, we're gonna blow this away. Um, it was complaining about the override on that guy. And we got an error, error here. Um, so no default constructor in, uh, in this guy. Um, so it may be, I'm gonna jump a little bit out of order with the slides here. We're gonna have to make a change to our Gradle file um, here to, to support this. So I might as well do some of this, this other background stuff in right now. So uh, recycler view is something that, that is, uh, at least at the time that I wrote this, uh, no, um, it wasn't part of any of the other libraries. So you needed to add it as a separate, separate library. And maybe that's just because there's, there's you know, they, they wanna keep us from code bloat. Uh, so maybe there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so we're gonna need to add this, uh, add this guy uh, to our Gradle file. So let's do it. I'm gonna build that Gradle and down at the bottom here, I will compile, and it, you can copy from the slides if you like. But the, the it's going to be the same same structure uh, as some of the ones above it. So com.android.support, and it's going to be recycler view um, uh, dash v7 colon and then 23 dash one dash one. And again, you just just use whatever you you had on on this other one here. Um, be the latest one. They change crazy crazy fast. And you'll probably have to go ahead and do a, a new uh, Gradle uh, project sync for that. Um, okay, we've got some issues here. Of course, it's going to try to rebuild, and now, now of course, we've we've, we've got some problems uh, outside of our adapter. But I'm going to ignore, ignore those for for now, uh, and go uh, go back in here. Okay. Um, so this guy is still not happy. Let's see what's what the, what the issue is here. So it looks like that that was the um, the happiest uh, thing that it, that it wanted me to do there is is go ahead when I'm on here to create a constructor that, that matches a super constructor uh, and that's just this guy that takes an item view uh, and calls super up on it up up to the to the parent class. All right, so we've got all the issues, all the the compile issues taken care of. Now we have the work of of splitting up get view. So so let's do that. Um, so get view uh, had a view here. Um, so we had some layout work that, that had to happen to make the view. And this is something that goes into on create view holder. Uh, so I'm going to say view view equals and we'll say a layout inferator dot from. And then as far as context goes here, um, we can ask the parent for its context. So that's something that's slightly different from what we had done before uh, because we have our parent here. And we can take that and we can inflate uh, 
our our same one here, so I can see it's 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 just just below there. So r dot layout dot name view, so that same one, uh, and then I can um, then I can use the same the same parameters here, right? So uh, parent uh, false. All right, so there's my view, uh, but I need to return a view holder. So I'm going to return a new instance of view holder, and where I pass in that view. And if you want to be really, um, really particular here, uh, they they call it an item view. Uh, so if we want to, if we want to use that as a name, that's that's kind of a nice name to use. Um, not critical that you do that. All right. So let's let's take a look at what's happening inside this view holder constructor. So down here, uh, we said that that what our view holder is responsible for is for capturing our different views. So I'm going to put a couple of, of text views in here. In fact, the same ones that I had before. I wonder if I could uh, get away with, with stealing some of those from, from this guy right here. So let's see. Let's, let's go ahead and grab these guys out of here and paste them in. I'm just really just getting the names here. It was the name text view and the position text view. Uh, obviously, I, I can't. I can't assign them values until I actually have a view to grab them from. So what I'm going to do is we'll say that name text view gets, and I'm casting it. Okay, so I called this guy an item view. So let's go ahead and and look for the IDs within this item view, uh, and then it's the same ID right here. <clears throat> and likewise, position text view. I'll do this one up a long way. Uh, on find view, uh, sorry, item view dot find view by ID, r dot ID dot position view, like so. Um, and then I'll get rid of that from up above. All right, so like, so the the view holder is responsible for for holding on to the different views, right? So uh, aptly name. All right, very good. So now if we go back up to our our um, our get view, it turns out that, that it's going to manage all of, you know, whether it's recycling things or not. I mean, that's why they call it a recycle view. Um, so we don't need any of this stuff right here. So blow that away. And what's left then is the customization, right? So, so this, this stuff right here, um, and these are all things that are, that are what we call binding, uh, the, the data to the, to the view holder. So I'm literally just going to grab them out paste them into bind view holder and then get rid of that because I don't need get view anymore. Uh, what's this going to do? So it's going to it's going to put things in the name text view and position text view. The only thing is is that those are now uh, those are no part part of the view holder class. So I'm going to have to uh, just call holder dot um, name text view, right? And that should work. And the same thing. Uh, view holder dot uh, position text view. Right? Um, I guess those are our fields. So if I really wanted to be specific, I could also give them names that, that reflect that. Um, so give them the N there. Uh, and that's it for basic stuff that has to happen inside the, uh, inside the, um, the uh, adapter class. All right, so uh, what I should have at this point is something that's very similar to what we saw on the on this slide right here. So I have a view holder that, that's going to capture things. Um, I inflate um, when I'm asked uh, to, to create a view holder. I go ahead and inflate a view and then and then uh, call the view holder constructor. And then when it comes time to bind things, I just go ahead and grab the the data object um, from a specific position and then and then uh, set the text views uh, to the data from that object. Um, let's see. So we changed the layout. Now we're going to have to change some things uh, so that uh, while, while it compiles now, um, we need to actually change our widget and then change things in main activity. So we no longer have a list view, but we have a recycler view. The name is a bit longer here. They fully qualify this guy uh, because it's part of the support library. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and do that. And I think we're okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, well, usually people uh, 
fully qualify it. So, so I kind of cheated there. Um, Android.support.v7.widget recycler view. I think that's maybe to, to uh, keep it separate from maybe uh, new ones that are in, in later versions. Okay, uh, main thing is interactivity though. So, so now we know that our, 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 our content is going to be a recycler view, so we gotta, we gotta actually change the code here to, to reflect that. First thing is that our adapter is still a name adapter. It's just the name adapter is a recycler adapter, so that doesn't change. Uh, so let's see, so list view here. Okay, my adapter is a new name adapter, so that, that looks great. Um, list view dot set adapter. Uh, hmm, well, you can't set a, a recycler adapter on a list view, so let's let's go ahead and change this guy. So this is really the main one that has to change. So recycler view, recycler view gets, and now we're we're looking for a recycler view, and this guy find view by ID r dot ID dot uh, list view. Yeah, it looks like I forgot to name it. Um, so let's go back to the to the content main. Yep, there it is. So let's let's change this guy here, uh, and I think I can refactor this. Let's see if this works. Um, refactor it from list view to recycler view. Uh, refactor. Great. Changed it there. Changed it here. Actually changed that in outline as well, but I don't need that one anyway. So blow that away. Uh, of course, I should have done a refactor on this guy too. Uh, it's okay. Recycler view, set adapter, um, and then the long click listener. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turns out that if I try to do the same thing, recycler view dot set on. There's an on click listener, but there's no on item click listener. So we don't even have that idea here um, for this thing. So what I'm going to remember out of this is that I'm is that the adapter needs to remove a name. That's it. Okay, not not worry about anything else. And I'm gonna blow this away. All right, and we'd probably ask ourselves, just gonna check my work here. Um, so we updated things to the recycler view. Uh, there's a couple more things we need to do. I, that's the good good thing that I went back here. Uh, so we need to set the layout manager. Right. So um, recycler views can be uh, can be linear like a list view or they can have a grid structure or some different things, so we need to do that specifically. Uh, there's also uh, a, a fixed, has fixed size, and this is used for efficiency um, when it does some calculations as you're scrolling. If it knows that every item is gonna have a sort of a fixed height, I guess, uh, then it can, it can pre-compute some things for us. Uh, so we need to do those things. And there's no long click listener in here, so, so that's, that's gonna go somewhere else. So let's, let's make these other changes. So in my recycler view, uh, I'm going to set the layout manager, and that's going to be a new linear layout manager, and which requires a context. So what am I going to pass in? You got it. This. All right. And then recycler view dot uh, set has fixed size is going to be true because it will be in the, in this app. All right. So the question is, where does the long click list listener go? All right. And the answer that now that I have a view holder, it goes there. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my inner class uh, and that is gonna be the on click listener. Uh, and it kind of makes sense. I think the design is actually a little bit cleaner to do that. Before, you know, I, I'd, I'd say, okay, the list view is listening. And then, you know, when one of the items is clicked, then it, the, the callback would get the position. But here, I mean, it's kind of kind of more natural, it seems like that a view is gonna listen for its own clicks. Um, so that's that's what we'll do. Jumping back in to our um, to our name adapter, uh, find my view holder, and I can have the view holder class you saw on the slides. I could have this class uh, respond to it. If I wanted to make an anonymous one within here, that would also work. In fact, that, that might even be what it, what I do here. So item view dot set on long click listener new on long click listener. Uh, let's see how this works. Uh, so what do I need to do? I need to call delete item. So, hmm, or was it remove? Remove name, remove name. Um, remove name from a position. Okay, so this is the only, maybe the interesting part here is that now you wonder what position are, are you? Well, there are a couple of getters that have to do with, with position. 
the sort of where are you in the layout and where are you within the adapter? Uh, hmm, good question. Uh, get adapter position is usually the right thing to use. So let's see how we how we do with that. All right, let's see how it did here. Uh, so um, I have my five items and I hit plus. And this is something that was was kind of left over from before. Um, yeah, there we go. So so we hit plus and it's going to go ahead and create them. Uh, Everything looks looks pretty decent. Let's try to delete uh, some of them. So let's delete Christopher here. So on a long press, it's going to delete. Let's see around as we can delete, um, just like so, right? Um, all gone. Got a couple more back. All right, very good. Uh, so that's all we have for you for for this lesson. Um, what did we do? We basically took everything from our uh, from our old base adapters get view, and we split it up into different parts within the view holder, uh, and we see that things, things work beautifully. Uh, next time we'll make the enhancements that actually take advantage of, of having the recycler view.